Hey, cool. guess what today is? Today is a good day. Let's start out with some music. Awesome, that was fun. Just so you know, I'm not super awesome at ukulele yet. I play the piano mostly, and I just now started to pick up the ukulele, so if you notice any mistakes there, it's probably because they were mistakes and I'm learning to play it. Plus, I'm trying to film right now, and it's tough to do two at one time. Okay, folks, what is the plan today? Today, the plan is to make a plan. I know I keep on talking about this, but basically, my plan is always to first make a plan. That's the best plan, is to make a plan. So, for now, what I need to do is I have like three main big projects coming up. Uh, one that needs to get done this week. Actually, it'd be wonderful to get, to get two done, but I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen. For now, what I need to do is I need to get materials. There's so many materials that I need to get. I'm talking I need to get flagstone, I need to get flagstone, five trees, emerald green arborvitae trees, compost, I need to get topsoil, 1.5 tons of river rock, a whole truckload of compost, and another truckload of manure. What else do I need to get? Oh, I need cardboard. I need like a ton of cardboard for my garden in the backyard and the landscape in the front. Need some landscape fabric and Staples actually I think I already have that from the previous job. We'll check and see if it's enough So bottom line is there's a lot of stuff. I need to get all materials Materials man, it's so helpful when you're doing a job to already have all the materials there Then you can just boom get cracking and like really get stuff done all at once So my plan is today is a materials day. We are going to call people up We're going to see where things are First thing is I need to determine the amount of soil needed and compost needed for around my house. So let's go do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick sketch of the house so that I can make the different uh, sections and dr draw that up and know the square footage so I can get the, the estimation for the amount of material I need. We're gonna wait on the backyard landscaping. For now, I'm gonna do the front first. Now for the garden area, we're gonna determine the square footage there. Hey, Swiss chard's looking good. It's coming up. Can't wait to plant it out in the new garden that's coming. Good job, guys. Keep going. The worm castings are working. Looks like the worms are doing good. They're growing. Need to feed them some more. I'm gonna feed them some more. So I'll go ahead and get a little something here. Now, this is a covering. I like that. I appreciate it. Until I give them some really good food. Let's go ahead and put some of these worm castings here. So it looks like so far that the main areas that we're going to need materials are the backyard, garden, and then the front landscape right here. Now, like I've said before, we're also going to be doing landscaping along the the walkway it's gonna wrap around and then come off the sides there the side come off but for now we're gonna start with the front this is how I normally draw up a, a rough sketch of my house or any house I just look them up in Google Maps and then sketch it off and then uh, go from there just put your home address in there Put mine in, then you zoom in on your house. And you make sure and select satellite. All right, so now we have the house. I'm sitting right there inside. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just do a quick sketch on my piece of paper, and then I'll calculate the distances there and the distance in the backyard to get my square footage. Okay, let's just go ahead and draw a really quick sketch of the house and property. First 
thing I'm going to do is measure off the area right here, see how much space I even have to work with, and then from there I'm going to decide the size of my garden. Alright, there we go. Got the measurements. Looks like we have 60 feet from right where we started, right over there, coming all the way to right here. So we have 60 feet, essentially the, the distance of the house, and then 20 feet this way. I could go 30 feet, but I'm kind of feeling 20. Now I'm just going to use some of this grass right here, this thatch, and mark it on the corners just to kind of get a visual for what we got going on I'm, I like to be able to see you know kind of the dimensions before I do anything so you could use spray paint you could use uh, boards whatever you want to use but I'm going to use some some grass because it's readily available right here and put it down and then kind of see what we got see what that looks like You can kind of see it, and I know it's not super fancy, but you can see there's the side coming there, comes across, essentially to that the middle of that old fire pit, comes up, comes back around. That is one third of the garden. That is 200 square feet, so 20 by 20. And then we're going to have three sections of that. So one, two, three. Some of it is going to be somewhat underneath this tree. And that will be a different aspect that I'll be describing later as to why we're doing that. But for now, just know that it's going to be from right over there, coming down, right here, boom, boom, boom. That's the dimensions, 20 by 60. Let's go ahead and measure these areas. Okay, I went ahead and measured all the way up there. Okay, calculation time, here we go. That is 20, 60, and then we've got 20 feet, 25 feet, and then as far as the depth goes, it's gonna be an average of six feet. Divided into quadrants, so 20 by 6 is 120, 15 for this side, and this side was 10. We arrive at 1545. Okay, so I'm going to round that off to, I'm going to go ahead and round that off to, I'm going to bump it up to 1700 square feet. Just to give us some lee room. And uh, help us out on the planning process. Don't want to run out of materials. So 1,700 square feet is our total. Alright, uh, what materials do we need? We need mulch. Let me zoom in for you. We need compost, manure, cardboard. For mulch, I want enough to have four inches over everything. Now we're not going to use quite all of that at one time, but I want to have that amount. With compost, I want enough for two inches everywhere. Manure, one inch. Cardboard, one, two layers. Bring over our square footage, we have 1700, 1700, 1700 times. First, we need to calculate the percentage. Now, this is cubic feet. For me, I need to convert over to uh, cubic yards. So, I'm going to divide these, each one, by 27. Huh, look at this. What have I been doing? I could have just taken this since this is uh, over, here, over here it's only four and then after that is two and then after that is one 
I totally could have just gotten one amount and then divided it in half each time. Huh. Oh well. You live and learn. Okay, so we have 20 cubic yards of mulch, 10 cubic yards of compost, and 5 cubic yards of manure. <clears throat> Back to the couch. Now, first off, I'm going to call the people that might have manure. See if they can deliver. I really want horse manure. Horse manure is the best. Hey, hey, um, I was just curious, it, do you all have, uh, do you sell or or give away manure? Sweet, so they might be giving uh, manure away. Now let's do compost. I'm gonna call, there's this place called Monterey Mushroom in Loudoun, Tennessee. Well, I'm putting in a garden in the backyard, so I'm looking for a calculator. I need about 20 cubic yards. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> And go from there. The, the best thing I'm looking for really is if it's like a whole tree. I don't know if y'all do that because the more leafy stuff, more branches, the better. You know. Um, okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. What's your name, sir? Mr. Brian. Good to meet you. I'm Benjamin. Yes. Mr. Brian is cool. All right, we might get to feature them in the uh, future, just and also just learn a little bit more about trees and the uh, and arborist companies and all that. And uh, but he seems like a real nice guy. So Brian is going to be coming by sometime to get some wood chips out here, and I'm going to text him my address. But um, that looks like a pretty solid lead. I like Brian already, and I haven't even met him yet. All right. Well, goodness, man, we got two really nice. Uh, tree service guys. I'm calling the manure place back. This is fun. They don't deliver, so I'm gonna have to get a dump truck. I also need to get some prices on arborvitae trees, green, emerald green arborvitae. So I'm gonna call some nurseries about that real quick. Jonah has been working today. The working man, doing some landscaping, huh? That's right. Nice. Working for season change. So Jonah, tell me about this garden. Here it goes. Here it goes. Jonah's gonna be gonna be my main helper anyway, so I might as well explain it to him. Here's the plan, man. 20 by 40 bed garden area, and then the front yard yard landscape is about six feet deep on average. Other so areas, six feet wide out from the house. Out from the house. Okay. There's one company that I talked to just a little bit ago who has. They specifically do work like um, cutting the limbs off of trees. So they which. So they chip you know. all of the branches mm -hmm. with a lot more than the wood of the tree, which is really good. Oh, it's huge. Because yeah. you know, you know a lot about that. I do. Um, that the reason why you want that is because that contains the nitrogen. It mm -hmm. contains the life force of the tree. Yes, is the leaves, needles, and twigs. It's what has the cambium in it mm -hmm. that produces the photosynthesis or does the photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff you want. Yeah. That's the stuff that will bring life to your garden. Yes, you do want the carbon. You want the you want the wood material, but you want, you want a, a good balance. balance between the green things and the brown things. Mm -hmm. There's the two different classifications of yeah. your of the things you want in your mulch. Mm -hmm. You want brown material and you want green material mixed together in your mulch. Exactly. So yeah, if we get if we can get some mulch from him, that would be huge. So we're using that mulch up front in the mulch beds and in and in the back. Yeah, and in the back along the pathways initially. Okay. Initially. So what I'm thinking is that there will be a 20 by 20 area, which will be one third of the yard in the backyard, that will be um, compost on top. Only compost. Seasoned compost yes. with no covering. No covering yet. It's going to be seasoned. Okay, but you you know you're going to get weeds. <laughs> no, this is what the plan is. This is the plan. He's right. He's right. That wouldn't happen if I did not actually like think ahead of time. And do because compost to very compost is closer to soil than it is to any kind of covering. Exactly. And so it's going to quickly grow weeds because weeds find their way to open soil mm -hmm. because the earth is very much like our skin. Yep. Whenever there's a wound in our skin, immediately a scab forms over mm -hmm. to prevent anything bad from getting in, and to prevent the, what's mm -hmm. inside from getting outside, mm -hmm. and it protects until the, the skin can heal back. It's kind of like what happens when you have open soil. The earth immediately says, there's open soil here, there's a wound, mm -hmm. let's immediately cover it. 
let's put down, let's throw yeah. down weed seed and let's cover it until the healthy stuff, the grass, the trees, totally and shrubs what can grow back. It would so totally that's, here's the plan though, here's the plan <laughs> to counteract all that. We're going to come in first with thick cardboard yes. on the bottom. To kill the grass. To kill the grass, to kill the perennial weeds. Yep. And then after that, manure, a layer of manure, cardboard, and then the manure, then the compost, and then mulch on top of that. Wood okay. chips, wood chips. So we'll have some layers going on, and really the, all the soil life and the worms, once everything gets, gets wet this winter and the fall, they'll already start eating away at that cardboard and everything else. We don't have to mix it in. Actually, it's better not to. Like the, yes. the life in the soil is just gonna It's much draw better to layer. In. Yes. I mean, that's what God does in nature. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mix exactly. layers. Yep, yep, just put it there and let God do the rest of it. Are you gonna bring back some worms from I already Ponderosa? did, man, I already did. I already got them over there in a bucket. Sweet. We're also doing a worm bin this, this winter, so. Tomorrow, go, we'll be getting some more materials. I'm gonna go get some uh, trees for the tree project we're doing Friday and the rock, getting some river rock. But for now, thanks y'all for watching. Thanks Joan for coming by. And uh, you need to get cleaned up because... <laughs> That's right. You are a dirty man. <laughs> All right y'all, God bless. We'll catch you later next time. See you tomorrow. See you guys.